What's up, Weasel? Welcome back to some more Melty Blood type Lumina ranked matches. Fighters was in t maintenance, so I thought I'd dust off this game. It's been a while. It's uh, it's been a long while, but that, we're not here for the gameplay. We weren't gonna be here for fighters either way. There's some news to talk about coming out of CEO's last day. That uh, whoa, it's a little choppy already. It's a little choppy already. Okay. Anyways, um, CEO announced some good stuff uh right at the end of their event, which is super nice. Um. You know, let's start small. Uh, DNF got another uh, character revealed, which was like, um, like, I think it's a gunslinger dude. A lot of people are comparing him to Dante from um, UMVC3, which, uh, looking at videos, there are a lot of comparisons you can make. Uh, but, you know, we'll have to wait until he comes out to see. Oh, God. Um, and then um, Guilty Gear Strive announced their next playable DLC character coming in late January 2022 and that is Bigen baby oh our baby samurai girl is here finally I can play the game <laughs> I can play the game properly oh god I can't play this game properly nope nope okay DPs aren't real in this game by the way did you know that um you know, so it's finally good to see uh, probably one of the characters I I actually anticipated a lot um, when first even seeing Strife is um, in the game finally. It's just super cool. Um, I just can't wait for it to come out and I can finally play her and uh, you know get get some time in with with my girl because I think the last thing she was in was Samurai Showdown. Which is, uh, you know, a, a, a fairly different game. I played it a little bit on the channel when it first came out, but, uh, you know, it's not my cup of tea. And, um, the biggest news we got was Blaze Blue Central Fiction and Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle have announced that they are going to get cross play, uh, not cross play, rollback netcode support. Um,. For both on Steam and for console, Cross Tag Battle is getting it on PS4. Unfortunately, uh, Central Fiction will not be getting uh, rollback on PS4, but we will talk about that with our next opponent because I refuse to play this person again. Alright, we're about to the next opponent, another Akio player, which is just fine. But back to it. So, um, I don't know the exact reason why Central Fiction isn't getting PS4 rollback, but I don't mind too much. I have it on both platforms so i will be enjoying it either way and this is really good because that's kind of the only thing that was holding me back from um uh playing it seriously because um listen dealing dealing with just fighters is enough already if we're gonna be honest dealing with just fighters is plenty of delay pages in the code i have plus it's kind of an older game so it being so old, it didn't have the most population. I think the most I would have gotten out of it were going to be uh, player matches with my boys. And um, this is going to really help bring some variety into the game. Um, because, you know, everybody has their mains, everybody has their favorite characters that they're going to play. So we were going to see a lot of the same characters a lot of the time. You know, my me, I'm going to be playing Susano as soon as I get back into that game. But um, uh, you will see that game come back. I believe the update is in uh, February, so we will be getting rolled back then. As for cross tag, I'm not too sure. Cross tag was the one Blaze Blue game that didn't really feel my speed. Um, to be honest, as a as a uh, tag fighter, it felt pretty fast. It felt pretty fast for me, and um, it. Uh, it really wasn't for me. I definitely enjoy Central Fiction a lot more. So we have a lot of good fighting game content to look forward to in the beginning of uh, 2022, which hurts mostly because did they un? I have to find the next opponent. Okay, a little bit of an audible play here. We're gonna do a little uh, computer match just so I can get my final thoughts out here. But um, I guess nobody's playing Melty Blood right now, which is a shame. Um. But a lot of content for fighting games coming out in 2022 with, you know, uh, Blaze Blue basically getting an entire revival. 
both in Central Fiction and in Cross Tag. Uh, so a lot more population is going to come to those games. A lot more popularity is going to return to it. Um, Biken, uh, first, I've noticed an actual uh, kind of controversial character. I guess there's a uh, very divided people on who want Biken in the game, and um, I don't know. I'm not sure why. I don't. I don't really know uh, the reasoning, but I mean, it's to each their own. Um, but a lot of fun things coming out in late January to February, which uh, hurts because. Although, you know, I'm really bad at streaming right now. Uh, on the streamer side, I do have Elden Ring coming out. Which is one big game already. And then two, in February, Destiny 2 is releasing their next big expansion, The Witch Queen. Which is going to have just, you know, like, months of content on its own as well. So that's going to... That's going to put some time in it. Um, so, finding time for each fighting game is going to be tough plus um central fiction being only cro um rollback on pc is kind of tough with the way my pc setup and uh, how streaming on that will be but i'll find a way i will absolutely find a way to get that um but like always i'm going to try to bring you the most content i can on these fighting games on what games i love i need to get back into these discussion videos the discussion videos on anime are some of the most fun i have and i need to get back to working on those just uh life schedule has been trash so i'm trying to make some time i'm trying to figure out what i can do but um as for that let me know what you guys think about all the news in the comments below are you going to be returning to blaze blue or are you going to be trying it for the first time what do you guys think about biking let me know in the comments below if you guys did enjoy the video make sure to hit the like button subscribe if you're new and i'll catch you guys in the next video